I had to do, uh, I had to get some things ready to go. So, uh, it's party time. It's party time. It's party time. I'm just a one man show. Oh. So today is Thursday and the week is already over. I can't believe it. Uh, all my brothers and sisters are coming down, uh, Friday. And Saturday, we are having a memorial service for my father, my stepfather, Mac. I call him my, my, my dad. He, he, you know, he stepped into my life when I was uh, 13 years old, 12, 13. <clears throat> and uh, he was a great dad, <clears throat> a great stepdad. The, probably the best stepdad a, a boy could ever have. Let me make that clear the best stepdad a boy could ever have. He was stern, he was firm, but he was just. He was fair. Mac was a very fair guy, okay? Number one. He was 97 years old. He passed away. So uh, I, I don't know if I told you guys this story, but it is kind of... Now, I don't believe in, in psychics. I don't believe in, in, in ghosts. I don't believe in you know, uh, spirits and that the, the dead talk to you. Um, the reason I don't believe that is because there's one scripture that just blows that away. Okay. And so there, there is no, uh, after death life. I mean, you don't you like in the movie ghost, there are no spirits that are running around here and touching me. And, uh, the, the scripture is, Absent from the body is present with Christ. Okay? So, my daughter Kimberly, she's in heaven right now, and I am too, on her plane. In a sense, I've already died, in a sense. I know it's hard to complex, but anyway, so Mac, Mac died. Anyways, <clears throat> let me get to the story. <clears throat> so, about six months ago, gosh, it was six months ago. So Mac loved to buy, he, Mac was not a guy that bought a lot of things, but whenever he bought something, he really loved it. And he really wanted something. He would want to get it. He always wanted a, a grandfather's clock. Well, he, they, my mom and Mac, you know, they, they got some inheritance from Mac's aunt. They gave a lot of it away. And, um, he bought a grandfather's clock. And he's had it, you know, in the house, gosh, all through the 80s and 90s. Well, when they moved, they, they took it down to, uh, or, you know, they, it's moved with him or everywhere he went. Well, it quit working, okay? And, uh, and I did a video about this, about where it just wouldn't work. It didn't work at all. And so I went to go get it from Mac. I brought it back in the house. And I stuck it in the corner and I just left it alone. I didn't do anything to it. I would wind it once in a while. It wouldn't do anything. I would, I would move the pendulum and it would start to tick and then it would stop. <laughs> now, I, <laughs> I want to preface that I do not believe in spirits. Now, I, I believe there could be an angel. An angel might... Uh, you know, he might have, uh, uh, and I'll go to this far, that, you know, in heaven, of course, it's all over with, but we live in the presence. So an angel might have said, okay, you know, he might have been, straight, hey, I want you to get that clock going. Mac just passed away. So I want you to get that clock to start working. So when Mac died about a month ago, I I'm not kidding, okay? <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny, actually. The clock started working. <laughs> and and this clock is right to the to the minute. It hasn't it hasn't I I wind it and I check my phone, my cell phone, and when it dings, it dings at eight o'clock, baby. And it goes dong, 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 dong. And it doesn't miss a beat. So, 
he passes away, and this clock now starts beating. Now, what do you think of that? Now, some people would say, it's just a coincidence, Brian. I get it. I, I'm not saying that it's some sp spiritual thing that I'm going to have a... Uh, uh, a phanta, a phanta, uh, 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 I'm going to turn it into a shrine or anything like that. I just find it very interesting that um, the clock is working now. <laughs> and it wasn't. And I think you guys might have been there when the guy, the, I mean, this guy, this clock guy was very arrogant. Ah, that thing doesn't work. What do you don't You don't believe me? What do you, I'm a clock, I'm a clock worker. Yeah, he wanted to charge me $800 or $1,800. I said, are you sure it's that ex What, you don't trust me? I go, no, it's not that. I just, I just don't know if I want to spend $1,800 on a clock. He spent 800, he bought for $800. Well, that's the way it is. Very arrogant man. I would never buy anything from the man because he's not a people friendly person. <laughs> so, all right, so we're pulling things. Now, we sell... All right, so that was the end of that story. Uh, I just thought that was a funny story. Uh, uh, um, I just thought that was so funny that the clock started working after he passes away. I mean, what are the odds of that happening? And I don't even remember winding it. You know, I, okay, I think I had wound it, but it just, the pendulum wasn't moving. And then all of a sudden, the pendulum was starting to move, and it was off for a couple hours. And then finally, it finally got into sync, and um, now it, 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 it's with, I'm telling you, it's in 10 seconds of being on time. All right, so we sell all these circuits. We have like eight of them, where you can build your own layout, and I've built like 10 different layouts. This is a very popular. I've sold more of these layouts, circuit number four. No, I didn't spray it with goo gone. I haven't touched it, okay? I just wound it, okay? I moved the pendulum, and then it stopped, and now the pendulums are moving back and forth, are moving. And it's very slow, too. It just goes tick, just like a tick tock, tick tock, like a second, tick tock, tick Talk. You do enough of those TikToks, you an hour's gone by. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. So circuit number four is the most popular one. So we're going to build this layout here. So what I do is, I basically build these layouts. All right, so all the parts to the layout are right here. So I need one terminal track. One terminal track. One terminal track. Two hand throttles. And see what I have so much track that um, I can I could build these layouts forever, which is really neat. Most retailers don't; they couldn't do this that I do. All right, and then the next thing is one transformer, one transformer, and we have eight of these. The Colossus, which is the huge layout, pretty awesome. And then you have uh, uh, seven straights. That's a lot of straights. Oh, and we now sell, We re, I reordered gray or the dirt track. So I have tons of straight dirt track now. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a couple uh, dirt track layouts because I have plenty of terminal. Tra uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to add a couple dirt track uh, circuits. Um so I need seven straights, two, four, six, seven. Look at that, right on the dot. Boy, am I good. All right, and then he ordered, okay, so that's, and then 10 curves. This comes with a lot of curves. I mean, a lot of curves. 
I'll say that again, a lot of curves. All right, six and two is 10. All right, so he's got 10 curves and everything fits into this box. Oh, hey, listen, I meant to tell you guys this. So when I was at AutoWorld, I told them that AutoWorld needs to come out with a, a $99 set, a figure eight, just a simple figure eight so that if people want to buy these cars, they don't have to spend as much on cars, on sets. So AutoWorld is coming out with a figure eight set that's just like the design I said. It's going to be in an 18 by 8 by 8 box. It's going to be a figure eight, okay? So they can get it at $99. Another idea that they're listening to me about. Now we need 10... Ten curves and guardrails. You need guardrails? What? I just need that stool. Why? Stand up higher. Yeah, but I need it for when I uh, down the aisle. I'll bring it right back. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Good morning from Missouri. Good morning, Chucky B. All right, so we got the guardrails that we need one packet of track supports. So that is the layout that he ordered. You get the track plan, plus also you get instructions on how to take care of your layout. Actually, it's, it's more of just... Uh, Well, I'll have to go back. I'll have to go back to the workshop. I have all the um, all the instructions. Now, he also bought a Camaro, orange Camaro, number 27. Camaro, AFX Camaro, and then I've got to come out here again. That's it, Brian. Just knock everything, yeah, knock everything over. Here's your stool. Thank you so much. Right. Where do you want it? Right here's okay. No, down the aisle. Not there, and I'm going to run into it there. Well, yeah, I didn't want you to trip. But now you're down this aisle. 57. AJ Foyt. 59, 58, 57. 57. So why are these not in sequence? 59. 57. Oh, right here. This car is selling. I'm all, I'll, I'll, I, at one time I had hundreds of these. Now I've only got less than 10. Unbelievable. Okay, so that's a guy. He bought, he bought the race set. All right, now we have uh, 69. got these guys here okay and I was talking about this gun a couple days ago we just sold another one of these which is the Texas Rangers every nine every boy 
And we did, we did some videos last night, Ryan and I did. I, and I said in the video, every boy that is from the age of 6 to 11 should have this for Christmas. I'm telling you. That's all he would play with the whole day is his Texas Ranger gun. Yep. Believe me, I know. I know, I know. All right, so we got a uh, flamed... Flamed Bel Air. Fifty seven Nomad Blurple and a fifty seven Bel Air Blurple. We sell one of these a day. By the end of the year, I won't have any of these if I survive. We're trying. We're trying to stay afloat. That's all you can do. Okay, now this guy ordered the auto, or the uh, AFX barriers, a uh, lap counter. But he ordered the barriers, the new barriers. These are the new barriers. And then we have the lap counter. We sell it individually, but people want it in the package, so we sell that, that way. And then he wants the um, red uh, Daytona. I always am running into things. Okay. And he one packet of extraction. He wants three of them. Three chassis. Three chassis. Now he's got three chassis. Extraction chassis. We sell hundreds of these. These are, I always recommend people at least have a half dozen of those. We've got this car here. Lovely. Then we have my version. So here is why you want to buy mine also is because this one does not have the, the, uh, the, uh, Betsy Ross flag. Mine has the Betsy Ross flag on the trunk. Which is really cool. So you could have both of these and have them both in your collection. Isn't that sweet? Oh man, I'm telling you guys. Uh... If you don't have time, if you if you're not prepared to come to this slot car show in Cleveland, man, I've been advertising. This thing is going to be huge, huge. My commercial. I had two or three calls yesterday from guys. Oh my goodness, this thing is going to be mammoth. Just so you know. All right, we got more caps. More caps. Whenever you buy caps, always buy in groups of four or five. Don't buy one. You might as well buy. You might as well buy. The shipping is going to cost you four dollars. You might as well buy. Uh, a buy. You might as well buy a half dozen at least. It's going to save you in shipping because these things are very light. So I can send. It's the same price to send one as it is to send ten. Because it's under first class. All right, so we got those. Uh oh, I shouldn't have done this. This is this is 27, 24, 25, 26, 27. Uh oh. And that one is 29. Okay, then we have another Goner number 73. This is a very popular pistol right here. This is another gun. This is another toy gun. Uh, 
that everybody is buying, man. And I've got plenty of these things, man. I ordered a lot of these. These are great little toy gun for a kid. Look at this thing. Watch this. I never grew up, really. Well, go ahead. Uh, Christopher Van Dyke. <laughs> All right. Now, that was two years ago, Christopher. You wanted to buy a race set. Are you? Do you want to buy that today? We will give you 10% off, Christopher, if you want to buy that today. All right, so you can call us. You can call me right now, and I'll, I can do that order. Get offer, offer. Christopher Dan, I mean, I, he hasn't, I don't think I've talked to him in almost ten, two years. Yes, I do remember you, Christopher Van Dyke. You were going to buy, let's see, what set was Christopher going to buy? And I don't think he ended up buying it. Now, everybody's got issues. So, I mean, uh, financial issues. And, um, but we're ready for you. Indy set. That's right. I have one Indy set left, Christopher. One left. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, this is a, uh, this is a very popular pistol. 0073. It's a goner. Solid die cast. And uh, now he ordered one. You might as well order two. Now, Gro Groove Boss Super Modified, he ordered two of those. So this is a Groove Boss uh, uh, Super Modified. You ordered two of these. I have to go out in the sea container and get the other one. And then uh, here's a car. <laughs> Christoph, I... <laughs> uh, uh, I was... Uh, I was a... Dotson here in the States, but it's Japanese. Yes, exactly. Indie set. Okay, so I'm going to show you a car that, that uh, basically uh, was the first, or actually it was the second purchase from Auto World that really started this whole thing and that really funded this whole thing. Okay. The money that I made from the car I'm going to show you is, 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 can, can anybody tell me the car? There were three cars in the assortment. Can anybody tell me, and this is for a free CUDA. This is for a free CUDA. If you can tell me which cars, that I bought that really started this whole thing. There were three cars in the set or in the assortment. And I only have two of the cars left. And I bought a ton of them in, 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 in December. I can tell you the exact date. December, well, within the week. December 10th of 2019. Oh, 
Adam. You are such a jerk. Well, Adam just won the, uh, Adam just won the, uh, so this is the car. I have about five of these left. I bought about eight, 1,268 of these things. And I didn't know how long they were going to, I didn't know how long I was going to have them. And I've got 18 left. Knight Rider. Unbelievable. That's one more gone. I sold one yesterday. Now this is amazing. This is a this is a twin pipe Chemron. Chemtron. <clears throat> now this is <clears throat> this is classic, baby. This is 1970s. This is 1960s, actually. This was made. Let's see, when was this made? This had to be made in the 1960s. And this is called Chemtron. And it's solder. You solder this together, and it was only 75 cents when this came out. All right? See the chassis you build? You put the motor right in between. You have all the pipes. I got sold one of these. And then the last item is the uh, this item right here, Texas Rangers with two ammo. But these chemtrails, man, these are awesome. You basically solder these together. Now this one was $2. Those were the days, baby. Those were the days, my friend. We thought they'd never end. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. So those are the orders today. Adam has Adam's been watching this show too many, too many times. I mean, you gotta have a life uh, other than watching this live stream. I mean, you really have to have a, a life. I mean, I mean that's all he's been doing for the last two years. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Mandy said that the reason that you're not invited to the house ever is because she doesn't. She knows you're not going to eat the food she makes anyway. So she said if you, 
if you want her to consider well now see that's that's very that's a very narrow-minded thing okay if she would if she makes a meal i will eat whatever people make she's brought food to you and you no that's different it. though that's she's coming to my house and i have the right to refuse food that's, <coughs> that's coming to my house but if i'm invited to somebody's house i'm obligated to eat that food I'm just telling you. You hear that, Mandy? <clears throat> you should just call Mandy. He'll put it on speakerphone. No, I'm just telling you. That's the that's the the when I was over in Europe and, and had to go go eat uh, in Spain, I I had never eaten Spanish food, and, and basically your dinners were like four hours, I, and and they don't have in Spain they don't eat dinner until about eight o'clock nine o'clock, <clears throat> and then it's about a, a two hour meal. They serve one thing, they drink, they talk about another hour, and then they have another course, and then they talk and drink, and then they eat another course, and, and, and it goes on for like four hours. <laughs> that sounds fun. No, that's the way it is. And then in Spain, and around noon, everything shuts down around noon, and everybody goes to lunch. It's funny. It's really, it's kind of, it's kind of like a siesta. Well, she wants you to try her soup that, she, that she's made for you tonight. She wants to see if you'll try something. It's potato soup. Well, we can't come over tonight because we have race tonight. No, it's, I have it here. It's. Oh, no, I won't eat. I mean, it's, if it's not, it, it, like the rules are, okay, those are the rules. That uh, in, outside of my house, I can deny anything because that's the right. I'm the king, okay? Okay, so what we do is to check... To make, to make sure that these are correct is I check the name to the name on the sheet, and then I check them both, and then I staple them. See? Noah? Noah. Yes, that's very right. You okay. Adam's getting some, he's getting these cards up here, and I can put that Cuda in with that, and then um, show him some other, any other special cards or something that he might want to buy. What Cuda? Well, I'm not giving that to Adam because he, uh, he's he been watching too long. Okay, now that's a mistake. I only pulled one of the bears. So I need another purple, purple bear. So we ordered these gummy bears. They're selling like crazy. Selling like, well, I wouldn't say they're selling like crazy. Like crazy. You know? No, I don't. Okay. But see, normally when you go to somebody's house, especially your father-in-law, you figure out what is what does he really like to eat, and you make a meal because of him. You're what you're doing is uh, I've been robbed. Brian denied me. <laughs> uh, good morning. Uh, you want to uh, uplift your grand, uh, your father-in-law, and Mandy has failed in that a lot. I mean, think about it. I have not been invited to their house ever, and they've lived there almost three years now. Which is pretty pathetic, actually, if you stop and think about it. I mean, two of those years was during COVID. But that's the, that's even stupider, okay? That's when we should have been over even there more, okay? That's the that's the point. And then I was watching. Did you? Oh, I'm not going there. I, I'm not. It's, it's political. Don't go there, Brian. You're gonna get yourself in trouble. <clears throat> yeah, PayPal's gonna ban you, or they're gonna charge you twenty five hundred dollars. California. So where do you think this little toy gun is going to? California. I saw that yesterday when it came through. Unbelievable. I laughed about it. I was like, oh, California. I got to go get another one of these cars.
Dennis. The last one is Joseph Bennett. And he's got one Chemtron. And man, see, Mandy wonders why she's not my favorite daughter-in-law. See, I know that when my uh, new daughter-in-law from Mexico comes up here, she's going to, oh man, she really likes me. At first she thought she, I was mean and everything, but then she thinks I'm funny. And uh, I have a feeling that whenever I tell her to do something like, hey, would you make this? Oh, she's going to be my favorite cook. Holy cow. Can't wait. Can't wait for my new daughter-in-law from Mexi Mexico. Mexico. What? Oh, yeah, I am. I'm going to learn how to talk to... Uh, I'm going to learn Spanish. She's going to teach me Spanish. Yeah, baby. I'm going to be a Spaniard. Let's see, uh, does anyone remember when Kathy made Brian's favorite soup and he found out that she put onions or something in it and ruined it? No, no, what she put in it was broccoli, okay? Now, <clears throat> I there are certain things that I have a limit to, like I, I love cauliflower, I love fried cauliflower, but uh, they don't speak Speedy Gonzalez Bride. <laughs> well, you know, Mel Blanc was Mexican. So, I mean, you know, and then they want to ban all this stuff. But he's the one that invented it. So, how can you be a racist if you're doing something that is a, uh, about your, uh, your culture? Oh, my gosh. I can't handle anymore. Yeah, and then you got your uh, you got your Indian tribes out in uh, where was this? I read this story. Um, there was this Indian tribe, I think, out on Oklahoma, and they did a survey on them, and and they're finding out that these the Indians they love they love all this uh, how we we're taking their culture in a sense. You know that we call them the chiefs and and the Indians and the Braves. Uh, because, you know, we're recognizing their, it's, it has nothing to do with mocking them. It has everything to do with promoting, promoting their culture. <laughs> it's just like, it's like, it's so funny. It's like, uh, give me a break. I can't handle it. All right. So now we're going to do is I pulled all the toys. So now I'm going to go down this aisle because this is the time where Adam likes the, uh, down the aisle with Brian. And so I'm going to uh, beat down the aisle. Right here, and we're going to talk about everything down this aisle, okay? So we're going to start right here. Now, the stuff that I have down this aisle is some older stuff. Uh, for example, you know, HO Express chassis. We have, you know, like Corvettes. Uh, we have some uh, Ford Mustangs. Older Ford Mustangs. We did have some Cudas sold out of that. We have some silver Batmobiles. It's all under HO Express. So you can, and this is Thunder Jets. And so this is the Batmobile Thunder Jets. And then uh, we got tires, original uh, Aurora tires, the flat ones. And then we have decals. We have tons of HO Express decals. Let's see. Oh, boy. You have my attention. Uh, and so we have a lot of decals, HO Express. And then we have a lot of these Thunder Jets. And these are Thunder Jets 500s. And this is before Johnny Lightning was really getting into slot cars. And they were doing original Thunder Jet chassis, okay, with pullback motors. 
Now you could take all these chassis and put them on Thunder Jets. They're Thunder Jets. And we have about 20 of these. And these are all, if you just go under Thunder Jet 500, Thunder Jet 500 on our website, you'll find all these items. And then we have another called American Line. And these are other chassis, same chassis that are from these. Because uh, what they do is we take these out of the box and then we pack them like this. But you can get them like this if you want them like this. We've got like 12 cars like that. Like, for example, right this. We got this one here. Isn't that sweet? Then we have this right here. Willie Gasser. A yellow one. And these are all under Thunderjet 500. Then we have some original Aurora magnets, the red and blue magnets. These are original Aurora. These were made back in 19, probably 1970. Yeah, 1970. It says right here. 19, no, these were 70 cents when these came out. Look at that. See where that says 70? These things were 70 cents. Hold on a second. Yeah, they were 70 cents. Oh my gosh. That's funny. 70 cents. And you buy them one at a time. Six per card. Actually, you get six per card. I got to change that in the listing. Wow, what a day. Yeah, the one magnet. So we have those, and then we have, th this is some original Aurora stuff, and this is just great addition to your track. Like, these are called race accessories. And uh, daredevil obstacles and course uh, activities. And these were during the uh, Aurora AFX days, the last, the last days, I think this came out in like 1970. And these are Daredevil uh, uh, courses. Let's see when this was printed. 1974. Gosh, what was happening in 1974? I think mom and Mac just got married and we just moved to Bowling Green. So you got a jump course. The curve bump and the teeter totter. This is just a fun little uh, addition to your track. You know, if you got your kids coming over, you want to add this to the track. Then we have this, which is the 45 ohm controller with speed indicator and quickie plug. 
Now, what I recommend people do is just take off the speedy plug and put on the new hand throttle. This came out in 1978 when I graduated high school. Of course, it has this little thing here. Look at look at the indicator. And this is a 45 ohm resistor. I wonder how this one would run. I'm going to take this to the house tonight and put on a regular plug. Then we have, uh, these are called speed corners, but these are only available. You can only use these on six inch curves because all your track, all the sets that were made in the early, uh, in the sixties were mostly six inch curves. And these were 98 cents when they came out. Look at that, 98 cents. And these came out in, uh, it's 1965. Holy cow. This came out in 1965. Look at that. 1965. So those are some uh, items here. And then up here, <clears throat> I got to stand up. We have more cars. And then we have tires. We have the gel claw tires by... Um, what are they called? Uh, what's that company? I don't tell. That company's not on here. The company is Gel Claws, but these are kind of a really sticky tire. And uh, we have all the tires, most of the tires. And then you can get action figures, which are these are the pit crews. Kellogg's, Hot Wheels, STP have all the pit crews. And then we sell all the tires in bulk. Extraction, CP76 through... Uh, CP 7906 to 7911. 7911. And then we come along here to all our track. We have all the track you could possibly need uh, or possibly use for your track. So if you need whatever track you need, we have it right here. Now there's only a couple pieces that I'm missing. I'm missing the 15 inch curve and the 18 inch curve, which I'm getting those soon. But we have all the new, the, the new catch fence. This is really cool, a catch fence. You get eight of these. You have the race barriers. Three of those. You got the chicane. You have uh, everything you're going to need for your layout. Then we have our popular uh, Johnny Lightning. This is the most... I got. I bought a bunch of these uh, um, die cast. And it's called C, uh, JLCG001. And there's four cars in this. There's the Buick Riviera, the Ford Maverick, the Super Beetle, the Jeep Wagoneer, the Ford Fairlane... And the 65 Pontiac Catalina. The most popular ones of all these is this one right here. The Jeep Cherokee. Isn't that sweet? And this is, the, uh, it's not the white one, it's, the, uh, it's this one here. Then we have the connector tracks, so you can connect up with uh, you can connect up with the um, Tyco track, and we even have Tyco. We have Tyco curves. There's a bank curve Tyco set, Tyco straight, Tyco curved. How about an accessory kit? Night Glow. Model Rockets. The uh, Atlas SLS. NASA. Then we have our Micro Slack Cars. This is the small set. Then you have a large set. And then you have uh, track packs. We sell the track packs. And 
and we even sell the cars, the extra cars. It's basically a Lego type system. You can build it with Legos, okay? All right, and then we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna go over all the cars that I have of, uh, all the cards that I have. I'm gonna sit here and just, uh, we'll do a little talking here. So this is down the aisle with Brian. So I have all the track here to build all the sets. How about, uh, I think these are the nine, I think these are nine inch. 15 inch, no, 12 inch, original Tyke, original uh, Aurora, lock and pin, oh boy, <clears throat> so I have all the accessories to build sets, so if you want me to build you a specific set, you can say, hey Brian, build me a set, so over here are all of the AFX cars that we have. So let's start out with the newest one. The newest one is the white. Hey, Brian, how are you doing today? Zach. Let's see, Zach King. Well, who is Zach King? How, how are you doing, Zach King? I have one indie set left, Chris. And I don't have any Ghostbusters. You should have bought that Ghostbusters when I had it because it's, and you know what set you need to buy is the new, is the new um, Batmobile and the, uh, um, the Batmobile and the scooby dooby doo set. Zoom in, zoom in Zach. Uh, I'm good, sir. Remember, I'm Tim's adopted son. Oh, you're Zach King. Oh, that's right. That's right. You're the you're the you're the adopted son of Tim. So this is the white G four GT. It's the white version, and that's item number two two zero seventy. Then we have the most popular of the black. Well, there's two most popular of the black uh, uh, GT forties. You have this one here with the green front. Item 22056. This is very popular. 2256. And then you have 2253, which is another popular color. This is kind of a rustic color. Like a reddish brown. And that's 2253. And then you have... Uh, then you have uh, the 2251, which is the flamed Corvette. Flamed Corvette. Okay, so for the first call, this is the first call of the day. I think Ryan got it. We got more stuff than you can possibly imagine. Well, I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed at all. You will actually have to sit down to get your breath back, okay? You're welcome. All right, so that's a guy calling us and saying, hey, do you have slot cars? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have slot cars? Aren't my teeth pretty? Aren't those aren't those pretty teeth? They do they look nice, don't they? I'm getting used to them. They are kind of a pain, but you know what? 
at least they, they're they're at least they're 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 functional. <laughs> All right, so that's that car. Then the next one is the yellow a Chevelle. This is not a popular car for some reason. I don't know. Two two fifty. It is nice looking though. Two two zero fifty. Forty seven were sold out of, and then we have the new GT forty. Item 2244. You haven't missed anything there, Ted. I just started. And then you have the red Chevelle 225 or 43. And then you have your most popular one, which is uh, 2242, which is the red GT40. The red GT40. And then you got a two-pack here. Whoa, NASCAR two-pack. Look at that. Nice two-pack. And then you got the blue... Uh, uh, G, uh, blue. You got the blue um, uh, uh, F1 car. Or or Indy two two zero thirty nine. No, actually, you know what? I am very excited. Uh, so let me take a break here and talk about my son and uh, my daughter-in-law, okay? So, you know, Daniel, <laughs> and it's kind of hard to talk about Daniel. So Daniel, when Daniel was growing up, Daniel was always, um, um, he was always, uh, now, he was always getting into issue, mischief. There was one toy that he would always play with when I was with Irwin Toy, and I kept telling Irwin, you should make this toy, but they never wanted to do it. But I'm so glad that uh, Daniel has found somebody, and uh, he's very happy, which is exciting. And um, his daughter-in-law, or my daughter-in-law, I think she's excited uh, to, you know, it, you know, to find the right mate is is kind of hard. It's, and nowadays, it's very hard nowadays in society. You know, a lot of people aren't wanting to uh, uh, date. Hey, Ron Gardner is back. He must have been uh, on his uh, uh, his uh, bicycle driving around Michigan. He must be. I know that he was going to go on a six month uh, bicycle ride. He was supposed to drive down to Wayne, but he never did. I, I'm very disappointed that Ron Gardner has never. Uh, drove down to um uh i'm talking about dating god it's been an issue with me lately <laughs> well you know like i've always told uh, i told i started praying and all of a sudden god gave me kathy um and um but i'm so happy for daniel and I can't wait to have her. I have them come up here. I'm just praying that that God would open up doors and allow uh, him to come up here. Uh, I haven't been on a date in 12 years, going on 13. I am too old. No, you're never too old, Ron Gardner. Never too old. You're never too old, Ron. All right, so moving. Uh oh. My phone is going. Who's calling? Paulding, Ohio. Who's calling me from Paulding, Ohio? Who's calling me from Paulding, Ohio? It's a, a robocall, I bet. Hello? 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 Hello, can you hear me? 
Hello there. Hello? Can you hear me? Well, hello there. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Huh. Well, that was a robocall. Don't you just love the robocalls? All right, so the next car we have is 22038, and that is the red Corvette. Then we have, oh, now this is a nice one, too. This is the black version of the, um, the black version of the GT40. Item 22031. 22031. Then the next one is uh, uh, the red uh, modern GT40, which is 22030. 22030. Then moving right along is we have the yellow Corvette or red, yellow GT40. So you have, the, you have basically three of these things. Where's the other one? So you get the whole set. <clears throat> you get the whole set. Got the whole world in my hand. I got the whole world in my hand. I got the whole world. In my hand, I got the whole, whole world. Oh, and then we've got this one right here. I forgot about this one. Holy goodness gracious. Oh, my gosh. What? What's up, UNN? How are you? We are doing fine, everybody. Any idea on the new AFX Super Car Challenge set, when it will be in? Well, I just, I just, I have it on order through, uh, through Horizon, and it's not available yet. It's coming very soon. And we have item number 22025, which is the yellow GT40. Hey, Ryan! Ryan! We're going to do a special here. We're going to offer all these. We're going to have 10 of these, only 10. We're going to do 10 of these. You get all four of these at regular price, okay? And you're going to get this one absolutely free, the white one absolutely free. We're going to do 10 of these, just 10, only 10. Ryan! Ryan! Are you crawling and you can't get up? List only 10 of these. Are you hurt? List only 10 of these. Are you hurt though? Okay. List just 10 because I'm checking the quantities. 10 of what? 10 of those just like that and you get this one free. Are you sure? Yeah. For how much? Whatever the price is of those cars. Oh. They don't get any discount because they're getting that car free. But that's a whole set. You're getting all cars so you can, as a package. Are you missing one? There's a green one. There's another green one right here. Or green? Or a red one. What's that one? Is that a different car? No, that's not the GT40s. There's no, there's none. Of, I, th I swear there was another one like this, but I could be, I could be mixing it up with this one. Am I getting it mixed up with that one? You are. You're wrong. Okay, I'm right. You're wrong. That's all you have to worry about. Okay? Oh, here, here. What's this one? The black one? Is that the black one? I already gave that to you. How many blacks? Yeah, we can do 10. Is yeah, you get five. Here, give them to me. All right, so you get five cars. I'm going to hurry up and go tell that lady there's a, there's a, I'm about to send an email. So I'll put this in the email. 
Okay, that's a great deal. Holy cow, I'm glad I thought of that. I'm so great. I'm so great. How great am I? And then to F1, two-pack, F1, two-pack. And then we move along. Moving right along. Moving right along. I'm in the we, middle of doing that Thunder Jet part, so it's going to take about 10 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. It's going to be about 10 minutes, guys. Then we have another F1 car. F1 car. That's 2215. And then we move up to here. Is uh, We have the uh, Camaro. Uh, 22020. Well, the price will be whatever the cars sell regularly. And then we're going to give you, you're basically get $50 free. You're going to get this car absolutely free, which is a $50 deal. And so you could do there your own car. So that's the deal. You're getting this car absolutely free. Okay. Free. That means, that means you don't have to pay for it. You understand what free means? Huh? 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 Absolutely free. Okay, now this is what you call a paradox picture, okay? So I'm going to take a picture of a picture, all right? So there's a picture of a picture. There's a picture of a picture of a picture of a picture, okay? Then we take a picture of the picture of the picture, okay? Now, that basically is a, a representation of time as it was written in the uh, Return of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> oh, man, I missed out on that deal. I just bought one of those GTs this week. It's all right, Adam. We will compensate you if you buy the rest of them. Okay, then we have this one here, the Corvette or the Ford. Mustang. My friend had this one. He, him and I used to run around Bowling Green. He used to have his yellow one, and I had my green one. And that's item number 22150. Uh, then we have the stockers. I only have one of these left. 21, uh, 21028. Chevy SS. 2107 or 27. Now these are on sale. These are only 25 bucks a piece. This is a deal right here. I got these on a good price. Adam is just disrespecting you. Let's see. Oh man, I missed out on that deal. I bought all of them. LOL, not one. Uh, got it. Okay, great. Buy four, get one free. No, it's buy five, get one free. Okay, and so those are all of the uh, all the net uh, of the um, those are all of the AFX cars that I have right now. Then we have all the tune-up kits, and um, oh, oh. So did you see the video? Did you see the video of the guy that, okay, so these are YouTubers, okay? And so they make a ton of money on YouTube. And it's amazing, how can you throw away money? But they, they do it because they had to do a video. They basically bought a Lightning, a Ford Lightning, which are absolute junk, just so you know, guys, that... The Ford Lightning is the biggest blunder Ford has ever done. And it's really sad that Ford Motor Company is going down this road because I honestly don't think they'll recover from it. So they bought this Ford Lightning. Then they traded this Ford Lightning in on a $115,000 Hummer. He's driving down the road. All of a sudden, this Hummer just dies. Electric. Errors everywhere. He couldn't restart it. He And it was raining, pouring rain. He had to get towed. And there are so many horror st stories of people with these things trying to pour, 
pull campers, tow, towing vehicles. It's almost a joke. But the funnest, funniest thing, you know what the funniest thing is I found out? Don't tell anybody, okay? Now, this is a secret. I don't want anybody to tell anybody about this because I don't want people to get upset and I don't want them to freak out, okay? And so... I, I want you to understand that um, what I'm going to tell you might not seem true, but it is true. And um, you just have to take this with a grain of salt. So recently, yeah, 200 miles becomes 80 miles. <laughs> Do you know that 80 miles is basically, so 80 miles is basically from Wayne to Sam's Club and back, almost. Maybe it's 50, 20, 30, 40, maybe it's 50 cities. And that's nothing. And I could just go in and fill up my car and boom, I'm done in five minutes. Less than, less than five minutes, I could have my Mini Cooper filled in less than five minutes. And I can drive 500 miles in that thing, okay? And then just fill it up again. So anyway, let me get back to the serious point here that I wanted to make, okay? And I don't want anybody to to um, be alarmed or I don't want anybody to get upset. But recently, in a certain state, they were told that by a certain date that you will not be able to buy a gas car anymore. And they want you to buy electric vehicles to save, you know, the planet, which I get it. Okay. Let's, let's do our, let, let's do our part. Okay. And so I'm kind of now at the point where, you know what, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's just go all in, you know, let's, uh, let, let's just, let's just, um, uh, support the fantasy, you know, and uh, then uh, in this certain state that told them to certainly buy only one vehicle that, um, uh, which they want you to buy electric cars. But then they're sending out, now they're sending out notices to people that, um, well, during the peak times, which is usually in the evening when people get home from work, uh, we don't want you to plug your cars in to charge them. And so then people are saying, okay, wait a minute now. I just bought this electric car, but I'm not allowed to plug it in and charge it. Am I missing something? You know, and I don't want to sound... Uh, upset. I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm, I'm condescending on people, but you know, it's just, I'm just asking a common sense question. You know, I don't want to get upset. You know, if you want to buy an electric vehicle, okay, I get it. All right. But then at least have the power to plug it in so that you can charge the battery. But if you're telling people in California that you're not allowed to plug in your car because there's not enough electricity, well, you've got a problem here. A big problem. Which needs to be addressed before you can go and tell them to quit using electric car or gas cars. Anyway. Let's make sure we stay on an even keel.
Yes. Just the lithium, it takes millions of gallons of diesel. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't so funny, no, I know, it's not that. If it wasn't so absurd and so dire, okay, then I would get upset. But I'm at the point now that I, it's, I don't, and I don't want to sound like I don't care because I do care. But, you know, if, if, you know, it's like slot cars. Let me relate this to slot cars, okay? If, you know, if you want to buy slot cars, there are many choices, okay? And um, we have all that you, we can have for you for slot cars. And, and that's what's nice, is that you can get whatever you want in the way of slot cars, and we have everything available, okay? We don't discriminate. We have Carrera, we have Skelectric, we have Ninko, we have SCX, we have Fly, we have uh, scale, uh, Tyco, I have Auto World, I have everything, okay? And that is the fun part about it. Okay, is that you can have fun with your slot cars, and that's what you want. We want you to have fun. We want you to have fun and just got off the pot early today. Ah, got. Let's see, I got off the pot early today. Hybrid, uh, at least millions of lithium can be recycled into each uh, to every uh, at least the lithium can be recycled into next battery tech <laughs> if there is i want a car that runs on water well uh, let me tell you something okay i believe and this is my personal opinion that water okay is the is the power or is the is the 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 real power liquid that we have uh, uh and um and i and i guess I, I i learned that from being in on submarines that that we took water and we split it we got the oxygen we pumped the hydrogen out into the water uh and and uh, you know where's the hydrogen hydrogen can fuel anything I mean, if you're telling me that hydrogen is explosive, what about gasoline? Gasoline just is explosive. Look at how many cars catch on when you when you light it down the aisle again. That's right, down the aisle again. This is uh, Adam's favorite time is down the aisle, Robert Fish. Get a life. Okay, Adam, or uh, Robert Fish, get a life. And so we're, we're finishing up down the aisle. Down the aisle, down the aisle again. And I just showed off all of the Race Masters cars. And um, we got train sets. I just like sitting here and talking. Down the aisle, down the aisle and making stir fry. I do have to make stir fry again. I got to make it to where it's not so sticky, where it's more fluffy. And you can only really do that on a grill. You got to be able to fluff it to where the water kind of evaporates. I've got a new grill. I probably should use that and make, oh, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make stir fry for my family when they come over here. I'm going to have Kathy make up a bunch of rice. Use sake. That helps. You know what? I am going to use sake. You know what? That's what they use a lot at when they make it. They use sake. You know what? I'm going to do that on Saturday because Saturday, we're all coming over to the house at my brothers and sisters after the funeral because uh, Mac was, oh, I got to take, I got to take my mom over to the funeral home. Oh my goodness. I got to do that at noon. I'm going to have to leave at noon, guys, because I got to take my mom over to 
Dunn Funeral Home. Because mom's in an urn above our uh, uh, table. Chick-fil-A. Uh-oh. Who's that? Oh, my God. I'm sore. Now, we did get a new item. I'm going to show you the new item here. Let me put this in here. I'm going to show you the new item we got. I got. I forgot. I got to go to the funeral home and take my mom to the funeral home. I need to put her in the box with Mark, her dad, her Mac. So this is a brand new item that we've got, and this is called the Union Pacific, and this is the Lionel train set. And it's an oval layout. It's a really nice oval layout for the price. I'm going to show you the engine. And the engine is really nice. The one thing nice about Lionel is the engines. And they're, most of them are all die cast. And so this is the, this is the Union Pacific Lionel. Check out this engine, guys. Let me show you this. Oh, come on, man. Oh, shoot. It's got little guys inside. This is what made America back in the in the 19, probably from 19, oh, 1900 to about 1945. These are the engines that built America, okay? And these were all over the United States. They were just moving, tra uh, uh, they were moving freight. And this is Bluetooth. This has Bluetooth on it. The remote has a Bluetooth. You can turn it on, on and off. It's an awesome set. We just got these sets in. I just got them in yesterday. And they're $3.99. And then if you're a, if you're a, uh, if you're one of our customers, you get 10% off. So, um, and it comes with two cars and, uh, it's a nice oval layout. And it has a Bluetooth. This is what's really cool is this right here. Check out this. This is a Bluetooth remote. You can go forward and, and worse. Then you can honk the horn. Uh, 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 and then the bell. Ding, 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 ding. And then you got a speaker sound where the guy talks. I mean, I mean, think about it. This is Bluetooth. It's control Bluetooth now. Plus you get two cars. Unbelievable. 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 This is called an 088. Now what does that mean, 088? Well, I'll tell you what 088 means. There are no front tires. All right, so the, the numbers on the train are the first two numbers are if they've got two uh, wheels in the front. And then they then your main train number, these are your train or main wheels, and then you have the ones in the back if it's if it's got a turn. And so this is an 080. That means there's no like for example here I'll show you I'll show you one that is like a uh, this is an HO train.
like we have a bunch of we have a bunch of uh, Bozers, Bozers trains, and these are kits. You put these together. Well, this was already put together, and this is basically a two eight, a two eight, a two eight two. All right, because there's two in the front here, and there's two in the back, and there's four in the middle. Check that baby out. Okay, somebody is calling me. Somebody always calls me. Yellow. Yeah, that's Brian. Good, how you doing? Which one did you go to? How was that show? Hold on a second. What now? Say that again. What do you mean they didn't want to, what do you mean they didn't want to pick and choose? Right. 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 You had the baby. They grow fast and they poop a lot. <laughs> That's great. That's good. That's awesome. That's awesome. You're the toy dad. You're Oh, wait a minute. Now, well, no, because I just, so you're, you're the first, uh, because they're saying that, so you're the first male to deliver a baby? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, because you said you had a baby. I'm thinking, wait a minute. I have to, I have to clarify this. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Oh, got it, okay. <laughs> okay, what can I help you with today? I am sorry. Uh, can you, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing a live stream, right? Can you call me first thing in the morning, tomorrow morning? I'll be in the office and I'll be, same number, 
Same number. It's just about 9 o'clock. Call me. Because I want to talk to you. Uh, yeah. No, no. I don't do a live stream. Well, tomorrow we'll do it later. Uh, but I want to talk to you because I'm going to another trade show in uh, uh, in uh, the Greatest Smoky Mountain Gift Show. And I, I'm becoming a distributor. And I just... I want to talk to you about maybe representing some of your stuff at this at this gift show and see if you'd be open for me to showing some of your stuff and w what we could do about that. Okay. So let's talk, I'll talk, yep, go ahead. All right, okay, I'll call you, call me tomorrow, okay? All right, thanks, bye. Sorry about that, I had to take that phone call. So anyway, so these, now these are bowler sets, okay? And these are from the 1950s, and these are solid die cast. Look at these things. This is solid metal, and this is a kit. You actually put this together, and we've got like six of these uh, that are for sale. This is the Minko 288. You see how you got two in, two there, then you have two back here, and then you have eight. Let me see if I can show you another one here. Yeah, see, now this one, this one is, is half finished, okay, but this one's not even painted. These things, this was all made in America back in the 1970s or 60s. Check out that baby. Look at that. And that's a 282 also. Now, this one's half built, okay? Some of these... Are, are, are half built and some of them are not even built. And these are available on my website. Like this is the ASRA Mountain uh, 10040, okay? And that's what this one looks like when it's completely built. Let me come over here. A matter of fact, I haven't really shown you about these things. So if you like to build, if you like to build train kits, so I, I got a guy that's local, and he has all these original uh, model kits that are basically, you, you basically build them from scratch. Here's the here's a here's a, a box car. It's all made of cardboard and wood, and this was all made before computers. Here's a really nice one here. These right here. Check out these kits here. Now, you build these, okay? Look. Look at this. You build it. Now, this one's half built, okay? And then all these engines here. I, th I think I had a smaller one right here. A Union Pacific. Here's a Union Pacific. I don't know if this one's built yet or not. Yeah, that one's half built. I thought I had one that's not built. Let me see if I can find the one that's not built. But these are $149. These things are like $500 trains. But most of these are kits. See, now this one's already... So now this is a... This is a four... A four, four, six, two. Yeah, four, six, two. So this is a four, six, two. So look. So you got four in the front. You got six in the middle and two in the back. All die cast. Not a single piece of plastic in this. All made in the U.S. Bozer. All made in the U.S. This is when we used to make things in America. Unbelievable. 
Unbelievable. So anyway, so getting back to the Lionel set. So the Lionel set is your complete kit. And uh, it comes with two extra cars or three extra cars. It comes with two uh, rolling stock and one caboose and an oval layout. And then we're going to an extra track later on uh, next week, actually. Track packs, because you can then add straights and curves. So those will be all added later. And this is the Union Pacific, Union Pacific set. Only available at ProTiggerToys.com. ProTiggerToys.com. Don't forget to like, some here, subscribe, hit the notification bell button. And uh, you can... Uh, You can be a part of uh, your Lionel days. And on. Okay, so I um what time is it? So I'm gonna go to uh, voicemail. Let's see here. Oh, it's Thompson Sierra. I'm gonna run till noon. So we're gonna we're gonna talk until um, twelve o'clock because then I have to head out. I gotta run up to the uh, to the local funeral home. And take my uh, my mom's ashes to the funeral home. We've got uh, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow <laughs> road trip. You know, Adam, do you realize that that I have a life too? You know, unbelievable. He thinks I can just do live streams twenty four seven. So we've got five new cars coming uh, through uh, Scale Electric. We have a Terrell, or we have a, um, a six-wheel Terrell. We have a, a Charger. We have a couple, we have a Lamborghini, not a Lamborghini, we have a Lotus, uh, two Lotuses, I think. And um, so we got some really cool cars coming. They're already on our website. If you go to ProTicketToys.com, you can see our website. Uh, and we have all the websites. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is uh, is for for somebody that's looking for something that um, um, uh, that you want to uh, uh, get something that's kind of inexpensive for your kid and just this is something that is just fun to play with, you know. You set it up, you don't need a lot of space. Uh, and I bought these uh, these Carrera sets. They're ninety nine dollar Carrera Go sets called Speed Traps. They're battery operated, but it also, when you buy this, you also get a free transformer for this price, okay? And this is the Camara Go set, okay? And let me show you what this set looks like, just so you guys get an idea of what Carrera Go is, okay? So this is a Carrera Go set, okay? You have all your straight tracks, your curved tracks, and this is the battery operating system. You plug it in with the batteries, and these last a long time, okay? Now, this is for uh, if you want to use, uh, um, oh, you pop that out, because I think that if you pop this out, you can plug a transformer into it, yeah. Yeah, you remove this little plate here. There's a little plate here, and so you remove that, and you plug in the transformer that I send you free. 
because this is the uh, battery operated thing. And it comes with two really nice cars. It comes with a police car. And it comes with a uh, Ford Mustang. And this is called Speed Trap. So when you buy this, you're actually getting a, tr a power supply free. All right. And this is called Speed Trap. Comes with curve track, comes with everything you need, jump tracks. It's a great starter set to get into Carrera Go. It's item number uh, uh, 63504 or 2006 3504. 2065809875309. 8765309. That was a song, guys, in the 80s. 8765309. 8765309. 8765309. Does anybody know what group that was that sang that song? So that's a Carrera Go set. All right. And that will go with all these Carrera cars. All right. So these are all the Carrera cars that we have. Tommy Tufu. Tutu. So we have uh, BMWs. We have uh, must, uh, uh, where is it? Uh, Porsche 911s, police cars, sheriff cars, Ferraris, and these are all our Carrera cars. Mercedes, this is a popular one, Mercedes. Ford Mustangs, I bought a ton of these. I have plenty of these. So if you want a nice Ford Mustang, boy. And these run on Carrera cars or they run on Scale Electric or SCX tracks too. Because they have a guide braid that's that's a braid, not a, a shoe. And this is the transformer that you get with you when you buy the uh, Carrera Go. See, it's $28, you get it free. I think I sell as an up kit, actually. I think you pay a little bit more, but it's still a deal. 8765309. Let's let's look at this one more time. Because some of these are really cool. I wanted to show you some of these some of these cars that are unmade. So eight seven six five three zero oh, nine eight seven six five three zero oh, nine. Okay, so look at this. These are stamped. These were stamped back in the sixties before any computer technology, and it's all components. You build everything. The whole. The whole car is is a kit. This is a complete kit. I want to get one that's already been somewhat taken out so you guys can really see how much detail there is in these things. Eight seven six five three zero oh, nine. Eight seven six five three zero oh, nine. Eight seven six five three zero oh, nine. Here's one right here. Okay, now this really shows you some engineering back in the 1950s. Look at this. So these are the sides of the. Tr they're they're stamped. These were all stamped, uh, printed. These were printed. Okay, these are the sides of your box cars. And then all the components are wood. Your sides of your of your car, everything, components, all wood. 
These are the trucks. We've got about 20 of these for sale. Actually, I think I got about 30 of them for sale. Some of them are on Pro Tinker, are on Pro Tinker Toys on eBay too. These are all 20 bucks. Can you believe it? Look at that. Look at all the components. Not a... Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, this stuff is when... This is when stuff was made that was really cool. Then we have Corgi World of Tanks. I just have everything. You know that? I, I just have everything you could possibly want to have to play. I have these, these are really cool, these Force of Valor tanks. This is a game, you can play this game here. I got German Tiger tanks. Airplanes. I mean, you could spend all day on my website, then I have all these uh, model kits. These are classic kits right here. Just everything. Unbelievable. 8765309. Shh. Be very quiet. I smell rabbit. <laughs> I'm Elbow J Fun. Maybe Brian is calling James instead of J Jenny. Won't he be surprised when he when he has a good time? LOL, no James. I'm going down tomorrow to help Tim with his barn fine lots. 10:48 a.m. Central Time. Hey, Ted, I'm going tonight for race night. James Murray, hey, Ted, are you going? No, he's going tomorrow. I see one third Le Mans set in the background. Yes, I have the, the one. Wait a minute. Le Mans set? Where's the Le Mans set? Oh, yeah, the SCX Le Mans set. Yeah, this is a great set right here. Le Mans set. Right here, the Le Mans set. Great set. That's another awesome set for Christmas. Just get into the slot car. Set up a track. Have fun. Speedway Champion by Carrera. That's another great set. Hot Wheels Drag Races with the Snake and Mongoose buses. Here's a new game that we have. We're going to do a demo on this next week. It's called uh, Catapult Feuds. So if you want to have fun with your kids... And play a game on the kitchen table. It's called Catapults and Castles. And you basically build your castle. Here, you know what? Let's open this one up. Because i got to open one of these up and demo it. So I'm going to open this one up. And then I'll sell it as the demo later on. So you guys can see what you get inside the set. So this is a game you can play. So it has little catapults, very easy instructions. Has little uh, battle mats where you build your castles. Here are your uh, cannonballs and you get a bunch of, uh, of um, Victorian uh, or uh, he's waving at his enemy. Then you have the catapults. Oh, cool. Look at that. You put a rubber band on it and you go like this, boom, and it shoots a cannonball at your castle. Oh, cool. Oh, neat. And these are the castle pieces that you build your castle. 
Now, this is the first game that they've got. They've got like four games coming out. Like we do have a, another version of it, which is the um, Catapult Feud. Shoot, where's the other one? Eight seven six five three zero nine, and it's called uh, it's called uh, um, yes, crossbows and, and catapults. Uh, a little bit different. I know which one you're talking about because I've got a bunch of those in the shed, but this is a, a modern version. And then this is another game that's been remade about a hundred times, and this is called BattleTech: The Beginner's Box. And you get uh, you get your mechs inside, <coughs> and you can battle your mechs, and then you can add to them because we have all the we have all the add-ons to all your mechs. You can add on to your battle mechs. You know, uh, Nintendo had a great. Battletech game. Oh, it was awesome. I used to love playing that game. I'd always lose. Huh. 876-5309. 876-5309. 876- oh, here it is. Here's the other. We only have one of these right now, but this is the second. And this is Artificial, Artificial Tower Expansion. Okay, and these are towers, and you get a ram that you get to ram them. These are the towers, so you add it to it, and then you can ram them with these rams. Ram heads, see that? You pull them back, and they hit the towers. These are cool. Build towers. Drive the plunger. Play all day games. Play all day games. Now, a little bit different than Hero Quest there, uh, Ron Gardner. Ron Gardner thinks he knows everything there is about everything. I'm the only one that knows everything about everything. He is second to me. Ron Gardner is second to me about knowing everything about everything. It's nice having Ron back on the light. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, yeah, it's great having Ron back. He is, uh, I don't, I don't know. Jack crap. That's you know what, Ron. That is totally untrue. You are a very smart person. It's just you need to get into a. You need to get into a. a you got some great ideas. You need to get into some corporate. I don't know. You you you're a good thinker. You someone needs to come up and invest in your idea. You're a smart engineer. That's the thing. Eight seven six five three zero nine eight seven six. This is a different car. Eight seven six five three zero nine. So this shouldn't be in it. Eight seven six five three zero nine. Eight seven six five three zero nine. These are two heritages here. Yeah. This is a heritage too. So do you want the heritages in it? Just do that that three pack thing? I think so. Not that. Just do those two. Never mind. Do that. Never mind. Yeah, just don't do the heritage and the GT Fortage. Yeah. I don't know why you're making such a big deal about it. I just it. want to make sure it's right. You know how I like to double check things and verify it? Not necessarily. Because I don't want to screw things up. Here, this goes with Adam's car there. Okay, guys, so we're going to head out of here today because I got to go take my mom's urn, her ashes. Are you going to run and get Chick-fil-A for me? I want chicken nuggets, but don't give me that little box. You got me like a little box of like five last time. Five of them. Eight seven six five three zero oh, nine. Eight seven six five three zero oh, nine. Are you going to? Oh, hey, uh, you and M. I bought the uh, the gener the transformer the. Uh, to put on the track, so uh, oh, and we're gonna set that up tonight on the four lane. Get rid of the lap counters that are there, and we're gonna test it out tonight. Uh, no. Yes. 
We have to get know how to use it before no. right, before the Rudy show no new no, new no, new no, no. Yeah. Don't you guys want that? You guys were using the four lane tonight and then we should Oh hey, I time. thought that we should be taking this down. We just get a new one. No, take that down. Oh. And put a smaller one and then put another sheet oh. of of uh, draw uh, another sheet of slot wall yeah. up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't think we need this TV here. Not that big, yeah. But a yeah, small I was one, like a thirty-two inch, like yeah, that. You could even hang it out and put it right there. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Is taking this one, because this one's bad, and I was just going to use that one and put it right here. Yeah, I agree. Completely agree. Smart thinking. Genius. This is why we work so well together. No, <laughs> no, we don't. That's the whole point. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because then we can put all of the exacto stuff here. Because this, all this exacto, I mean, I don't have a lot of it, yeah. so when it sells, it's gone. I but mean, I mean, I, I want to put more. Cool. This would open up I more think, space. I think we need to change this. This is the first thing people see when they come in. I don't think it should be this stuff. I think we need to move this stuff around and put something more flashy, like kid stuff. Because more people that come in here, they're looking for kiddie stuff. Really? I think that's what it is. But I agree with the change that you're talking about. Okay, guys, we will see you later. Uh, I, we might do a live stream tomorrow. Mo oh, we're going to be doing live stream tonight. That's right. We have one more auction tonight, right? Yep. Ted's coming tonight. I mean, tomorrow. I know that at nine. At eight thirty for Tim. No, nine o'clock. Yeah, but I keep telling Tim it's eight thirty because you get him riled up. It's a bit, just like you do bits all the time. I the don't time. do any bits. <laughs> Show do. us the new picture, Ryan. What new picture? Oh, yeah. So on these cars, some of these are heritages, and some of these are the new GT40, okay? So these two right here, these two are the heritages. You see, they've got a wider uh, on it, and then this is a smaller one. Brian didn't like it very much. No, because it's a bad it's a bad inter interpretation. Okay, you guys, mine's really good. Look at that. No, I, that's not like my that's head. That's not nice at all. It looks just like me. Oh my god! Look gosh. at that. It fit perfectly there. <laughs> it looks like I'm wearing the hat. It, they they got to get. If I'm going to print those, they have to be in higher quality. That's the highest quality we could get of the b base image. No, no. See, that's the problem. You're not doing it correctly. No, I searched Google. I know how to do that. No, you don't. That's the problem. Oh, gosh. All right, so we're going to... I'm going to head out because I got to go... Are you go, getting Chick-fil-A, though? I've got to go to... Uh, no, because you have you have your, your stupid soup, your, yeah, but your nutty wife made. Tonight. That won't be done till tonight. Your nutty wife. That won't be done till tonight. I need Chick-fil-A for the time being. But I want more than five nuggets. You get me five nuggets last time. Eight seven six five three zero nine. Eight seven six five three zero Brian. Eight seven six five three zero nine. Can you please answer my question? Eight 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 six seven eight six seven five three zero nine. Is it eight six seven? Five three zero nine. I thought it was eight six seven five three zero nine. What is that from? Ryan, it's a song that was in the eighties. One, uh, one, one winter, one, 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 one. Uh, hit one hit wonder is what we'll called a one hit wonder. Okay, guys, so we are going to sign off. We had a very good show today. This should be very popular over the next couple days. This should get about seven hundred views. Uh, so we are going to take it easy and buy one, get 10 free. That's right. Bye-bye.